Hi, boys and girls. We are so happy to be back with you again for our um, uh, another presentation. And it's Miss Mary Beth and Miss Jerry that are coming to you from the atrium at St. Patrick's. Uh, first, before we do our presentation, we would like to show you our beautiful prayer table. You'll notice that it has changed again. The last time we saw you, we were in the season of Lent, uh, where we had our prayer table decorated in purple. And now we are in the season of Easter, and we are decorated in these beautiful white and gold cloths. We have flowers, we have our white candles. And one thing that I wanted to show you that you may not see very often is this crucifix. This is a crucifix of the risen Jesus. If you look closely at it, you'll notice that his hands are not nailed to this cross. And this is to remind us what an Easter is all about, that Jesus rose. So today, we want to mention that we don't celebrate Easter just for one day. All right, we celebrate it for 50 days. So we have a very long Easter season coming up. And during this time, uh, we are going to see many appearances of Jesus to his disciples. We are um, celebrating his resurrection today. We're going to look at um, a model of the uh, tomb that Jesus was laid in after he died on the cross. And we'll talk about that uh, for a little bit too. And just what some of the customs were of the Jewish people at the time. Okay. We know that the resurrection is letting us understand that the darkness of the week of the passion um, has been overcome by Jesus's risen light. He has taken over uh, and, and crushed death on a cross to let us know that we will all rise again with him one day. Okay. Our model here is a model that might look something like the tomb that Jesus was laid in. Okay. And I know that I have to, uh, I'll show you this piece here. Let me show you this side first. You'll remember that the story from the past that um, on Easter morning, the stone was rolled away from the entrance to Jesus's tomb. And some of his friends came to the tomb early that morning to um, uh, rub some oils and spices on Jesus's body. Okay, and then they were going to wrap him in linen cloths. That was a custom that they did in Jesus's time to help preserve the body. Normally this custom was done for people of great importance. Okay. You may remember the story too from back when Jesus was born, um, the story of the Magi. They brought Jesus three gifts. They brought him gold and frankincense and myrrh. And those were gifts given to a king and most likely for the king to use at his burial. So that's what these women are bringing. They're bringing some of those oil and spices to Jesus to anoint his body. You'll notice inside here, we have uh, a cloth in the chamber where Jesus was laid in the tomb. And we're going to take a look at that story right now. I want you to listen to it and see um, what happened when the women came to uh, visit Jesus 
<clears throat> on that Easter Sunday morning. We have to remember, too, that the Jewish people would not allow something like this to happen on their Sabbath day. Their Sabbath day was on Saturday. So these women had to wait overnight and wait until Sunday morning in order to um, anoint Jesus's body. So let's listen to this. This story is right from the Bible. I'm reading it from one of our scripture booklets, but the story is in the Bible and it's from Matthew and it's in Matthew's chapter 28. It's called the resurrection. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was drawing, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb. Let me show you our little models of Mary and Mary Magdalene. They came to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and approached and rolled back the stone. Here's our angel. And he sat upon it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing was white as snow. There were two guards there. making sure that no one took Jesus's body. Well, these guards were shaken with fear of him and they became like dead men. The angel said to the women, do not be afraid. I know that you are seeking Jesus crucified. He is not here. For he has been raised, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples that he has been raised from the dead. And he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him. Behold, I have told you. Then... The women went away quickly from the tomb, fearful yet overjoyed, and they ran to announce this to his disciples. So, lots for us to think about. These women came there expecting to find Jesus' body. What do you think these women might have been thinking as they were coming close to the tomb that early Easter morning? What do you think might have made them fearful? And what do you think made them feel full of joy? Some things for us to think about. Think about how you might have felt if you were with the women on that Easter morning to go and put oils and spices on the body of someone that you found so great and so loving and so caring. How would you have felt to come upon that tomb in the morning and see that he was not there. Your good friend was not there. Just his linen cloths were left behind. This might, uh, something that you might be able to do um, with um, thinking about this work, and you can look it up in the Bible. It's in Matthew 28, right? You can read that scripture for yourself in the Bible and think about those words that Matthew is telling us. Okay. Um, you might want to copy the words. If you're practicing handwriting at this time in school, you might want to write those words down. That story is not that long. Okay, so you could copy these words. 
um, you might want to um, illustrate this story. That means draw a picture of what you are understanding and seeing. And, um, you know, again, this is um, kind of a model of a tomb that might, it might have been something like this in Jesus' time. Um, carved out of a cave on the side of a hill in the rock and uh, just several chambers, okay? Um, you might want to draw the figures, Mary, uh, his mother, and Mary Magdalene, and the angel, and some Roman guards that were placed to guard the tomb overnight. Some of those things for you to think about. We are so happy that you joined us today, and we will see you again next time. We have another song coming up for all of you. Okay, so we'll see you next time, boys and girls, and thank you for being with us. Bye, everybody.